My name is Jose Tapia, but people call me Pepe. Today I'm excited to meet with a mentor from the AWS AI and ML Scholarship Program to talk about my project and get some advice. Hey Jose, hope you're doing well. My name is Todd Escalona. I'm a Principal Solutions Architect at AWS. Thank you so much for making the time. Jose, listen, I'm super excited to be here. Great opportunity with the AI ML Scholarship Program. Kudos to you, to your hard work. What is it that clicked with you so well to say, as a career interest, this is something that I would like to pursue? I feel like most of the paths that I saw from AI and ML were very unique, that they all are able to solve problems. And applying it to my passion of just helping people and helping communities, the scholarship program was the first hint that I had that you can take programs that lead into careers that aren't necessarily a part of school. Great, great. So let's talk a little bit about the project itself and what's the technical vision, the use case, etc. That project itself is basically just meant to connect families through athletics. It is a recording hardware and software that can essentially broadcast a Raspberry Pi video feed, live stream it, and using AI and ML, record and create clips from that. Right now I'm currently working on basketball. Current technologies to be used are Raspberry Pi, camera module, and connecting it to an online service. Do you have any recommendations on just how to pace oneself for any given project? I would say it's the power of networking. Who are you surrounding yourself with? Be a part of that community. Maybe it's joining the Discord room, asking some questions, introducing yourself, linking them to your current state of your GitHub repository, and then just make sure that again, any roadblocks that you're encountering, you're keeping your head up and you're taking a builder mentality with you. You're removing those roadblocks by doing the research, and reaching out to your network for help when it's needed. I think I do get stuck a lot when it comes to projects. I'm like, oh, how do I do this specific thing? You know, when you get to a problem and all that, find a way to get there through either other examples or other open source examples, especially. So thank you for that. Absolutely. Yep, that'll take a long, long way. So Jose, I wanted to say that it's it's really been a pleasure meeting you and hearing your story. I'm super excited to stay tuned and uh, looking forward to hearing a lot about the different successes. Thank you. I appreciate I appreciate your time. Not not just like the, the insight you have on on both real world application, but also just on a personal level. I, d I definitely feel like there's a lot I can improve on and a lot that I can look forward to and kind of changing my perspective here and there. So thank you again so much for your time and advice on that.